I don't favor using a, a high pressure hose to clean boats. I'm afraid I might blast away something I shouldn't be doing. Uh, what I'm using here is just a garden sprayer set on flat and in full volume. The uh, products we're using is a Starbright uh, deck cleaner, but it's uh, especially formulated for the non-skid. There's a new bottle on the right, or excuse me, there's a new bottle on the left, and then an old, old one on the right that was still workable. I was surprised at that. The directions tell you to um, wet the surface, of course, and clean it first. And then you um, uh, just put the product on and leave it set for a few minutes and then uh, wash it off. However, since we've got deeply embedded dirt, grime, and who knows what, I decided to um, go ahead and scrub afterwards. Keeping that what should be painted separate from that which should not is a critical part of uh, doing a job like this. Um, I managed to leave my uh, razor blade knife at home until the very last day, but I was able to use my pocket knife, which I generally keep quite sharp. Uh, you've noticed I'm using uh, three quarter inch masking tape. Um, you should be using probably inch and a half or two inch. I did have that for the larger areas, but it uh, would have been a lot less uh, problematic if I didn't. You can see what happens there. If you do uh, kind of slobber over a bit, then you've got um, that which is not supposed to be painted having paint, which is not your goal. Well, I made it, <clears throat> well, I made it over to the starboard side. Wiping on some of this 333 brushing fluid. I highly recommend that. Had a little bit of paint left on the brush, but not enough. Just trying to uh, work it in. There's a gob of goo there. It doesn't take a lot of pressure uh, at this juncture because the paint is uh, nice and fluid. Uh, the bow area there I just uh, I just primed this morning so we'll have to wait till tomorrow there's a 16 hour uh, setup window that they prefer you do so it's not like we don't have something else going on here don't want to have the uh, the paint on too thick either because uh, then that covers up the uh, non-skid which I kind of need Uh, the um, brush I've been using here, I just picked up at one of the uh, local uh, um, home centers. And this is the more expensive version of uh, what you'd use on your house, probably. But I wanted one uh, that was specifically made for oil. Even though this is technically not oil, it's polyurethane. And it's performing very well. When you're putting on the uh, prime coat, you really don't need a great brush for that. <clears throat> and I do recommend the brushing over the uh, over the rolling, at least on the uh, non-skid. And that's because um, the roller will vary in thickness as to how much paint's actually going down. And I noticed when I was doing the deep cleaning. <clears throat> I noticed when I was doing the deep cleaning that uh, uh, some of the uh, paint would come off, the old paint would tend to come off with the sprayer and I, I wasn't using a, uh, a pressure sprayer at all, it was just a garden sprayer like you'd uh, use at home. So it wasn't excessive pressure, I don't think it's a great idea to use a high pressure hose on a fiberglass boat. Well, when I did that, I could tell that uh, there was quite a variance of thickness of the of the uh, previous paint. So, brushing, I think, will uh, will give me better coverage, or at least it seems to. Of course, using the uh, this brushing liquid helps that a lot because it just kind of seeps down 
Now I noticed um, the uh, prime cut was doing a fair job of uh, hiding the cracks. You can see a crack there. They're supposed to have micro balloons in them to uh, just for that purpose in the paint and in the especially in the uh, prime coat. Prime coat comes in two different colors, gray and white. And I kind of wish I would have known that. I might have got the gray instead, but this um, this looks right. There really was no choice in the matter because. Uh, the uh, local marine center only had this color and by the time you try to ship anything in even from the big A even if you have prime it's going to cost you uh, your left leg to do that okay uh, looks pretty good Kind of see the sheen when I rub this on. A little bit goes a long, long way. That's the good news. But in high wind conditions and high temperature, it uh, it does seem to evaporate. And I see the prime didn't really soak in there. Of course, this is only one coat of the prime coat. In the cockpit, I did two, so maybe that has something to do with it. <clears throat> See if we can cover that up a little bit. Well, covers there, but how long that's going to last is anybody's guess. There's another one. Would be great if it did cover there and stay covered. Hideaway being hole number two has um, got a lot of the uh, spider cracks, or not really spider cracks, but uh, uh, cracks in the uh, gel coat. And they tell me that's normal for the age of the boat, or for that era anyway of the boat. Of course I couldn't tell if they said era or er, er or. Obviously somebody made a mistake. cockpit if you want to come you're welcome looks pretty good though I like this color this was the original color we put down many years ago and then we ended up with a darker color for a lot of years that we both disliked and uh, but I really like this uh, this beige color okay And if I could remember what the name of it was, I'd tell you. We'll have to look that up. <clears throat> now this is going to take a while to get set up here. It's a game. You got to uh, paint things in the order that you're going to leave. So I will uh, lock up the cabin get my camera stuff out and uh, work my way back here to the ladder. I'm not doing the, uh, the deck or the floor down there until last uh, just because I think it'd be too much of a problem to try. But looking over there that's not bad. We're gonna like this color a lot better. Well you don't have to watch all this stuff. I'll, uh, I'll uh, get it done myself. Thanks for your help, though. 
Now for this uh, repainting of the uh, uh, the deck, we're going to use the uh, Interlux right side single part polyurethane, and I'm using the Interlux pre-coat base. Now I don't um, I, I don't necessarily. Agree. <laughs> We've had good luck with this company in the past, but uh, you'll have to determine if this is what you want to do. Um, I don't uh, recommend any of the products, but um, we have had good luck with this. And we're changing the color from the uh, base that you see below to uh, Bristol Beige. That's a lighter color. Uh, neither one of us like the darker uh, colors that we've had on here, so we're going to um, change that up. Returning uh, one morning to add another coat of paint, um, I noticed that we had a heavy dew fall the night before. I nearly did too, walking on that slippery deck. So it became important then that I, d I find some type of a non-skid product to uh, prevent that fall. Um, Interlux Intergrip, uh, part number 2398C, uh, was what I had in my um, uh, cupboard there. So I, me I mixed some of that up. Now the instructions say that you uh, you have to pretty well guess what you're going to do, but I had two thirds of a quart of paint left, so I put in about two and a half ounces of this very very fine powdery, almost flour-like substance. Uh, what makes Intergrip different than others that I have used is that these micro balloons actually absorb the paint, and they stay suspended better in the uh, paint as you go along. And I tested several times at several different points during the day. Uh, in every case, uh, the, the uh, inner grip did stay suspended. And it gives a real nice uh, grip as you walk on the, on the deck, whether you're wearing shoes or if you're barefoot. So it looks really good. It's nice and even. Uh, and it is definitely authoritative. So this was a, uh, this was a good solution. This video was uh, filmed with four different cameras. Uh, whenever you're dealing with uh, paint, there's a, there's a probability that some of it might find its way into your expensive cameras. So I use that as my excuse, and that's why you don't see any film concerning the uh, laying down of the uh, uh, pre-coat or the primer. Of the four cameras, three escaped without injury. The fourth, our latest addition was not quite as fortunate. As long as the Admiral doesn't find out, I won't have to spend much time in the brig. But the new camera is not very pretty anymore, but it still functions well. It's said that the way you can tell the difference between a professional paint job and an amateur paint job is that the amateurs will leave their mark. I've left several of them so nobody gets confused.